Hey nerds, today we're unboxing this SH Figure Arts Gear 5 Monkey D. Luffy. Let's get him out of the box. All right, so we have the wonderful SHF packaging, but forget about that. Let's get him out of the box. Look at all these accessories it comes with. He's absolutely loaded with them. Of course, we got the stand, and you're definitely going to need it with this figure. Now let's get right to Luffy here, and look at this awesome design. We got the all-white clothes with the purple sash. Of course, he got his sandals on. Now check out this head sculpt here. He's got the wild hair going everywhere, and that expression on his face, the smile is awesome. Of course, Luffy has his cloud effect, and you can see right here, it does have some articulation. It pegs into his chest. It's very easy to remove, and honestly, it falls out way too much. It's kind of annoying. But when you do remove it, it leaves these giant holes in the chest you can see there, so definitely want to leave it in. Let's run through Luffy's articulation now, starting with his feet. They go up and down this far. There is an ankle rocker in there. His legs do spin at the knee joint right there, spin left and right. And then there's these little flaps on the back of his knees that go up and down, which I wish they put those on the first figure they released instead of this one. This one doesn't really need it. You can spread apart his legs this far, but if you spin them at the thigh joint, you can actually get a little bit of more articulation out of it. Check that out right there. And then you can rotate his legs at the knees to get his feet pointing the right way. His legs kick forward about that far, which is not far at all. But again, rotate it at the thigh and you can get much more range of motion out of it. And again, rotate the legs at the knees. So they gave Luffy a ton of articulation at the waist. Look at the spin there and the crunch. Very awesome, you got the nice lean left and right. And again, he gets turned so far to left and right, which is very great. He's got very similar joints to the first figure. You can see how they slide up and down. They spin all the way around. And of course you can just spin it in there on the joint as well. His head spins all the way around to the left or the right. He looks down that far and he looks up that far. There's so much range of motion in that neck. Very awesome job they did with this figure. Of course, look at the left and right lean. Again, really great job with the articulation on this neck. Now let's talk about the bendy parts on Luffy, starting with the legs down here. You can see how far they bend back. They bend from the knee down to the toe, and they can bend it forward like that as well. So you get some very fun poses. We've got left and right. Bend them any which direction you want, really. His arms are bendable in two spots on the sleeve, just below the shoulder, in between where the shirt ends, and then where his arm comes out of the shirt, between that and the wrist. And you gotta be careful with the wrist because you could break it, but luckily, it goes back together. It took a little effort, but got it in. It was working fine for that. And I will tell you why this happened very shortly. Let's go through Luffy's accessories now, starting with his gum gum arms. Yes, his arms are swappable. Check this out. They are labeled with an R and L, so you know which arm goes on which side of his body, so don't get that confused. And yes, they are fully bendable. Look at this. The whole thing bends all the way around. Get some fun poses with this. Definitely very easy to bend. Hold the shape very well. You can see there. Now I want to show you guys why you need to be careful with the wrist pegs and how easy they are to break. You can see the part of the wrist peg that actually attaches into the arm. Because of the way they're made with the bendy arms, the way they're constructed, you can't actually spin those to the left and the right. So if you're trying to spin the arm around like you would on a normal figure, it's not going to work for you and it's going to come apart just like that. But at least they went right back together. Now let's try swapping the arms. First we're going to pull off the one that's already on there. Should come off with a nice little pop. Now we can put his gum gum arm on and it's honestly a pain in the butt to do. It doesn't go on as easily as you think because the arm bends so like when you're trying to put pressure on it to push it on the arm bends instead of just sliding on. And the peg hole seems a little bit tight so you can see I'm just struggling with it for a while here. But what I found from my buddy Cody over at Too Much New Toys is that if you point the wrist peg straight up in the sky like he's raising his hands up and then push the arm down onto that peg that is the best way to get it on without any problems. Check that out. Yay, it worked. Of course, Luffy comes with his own straw hat, but this one doesn't actually go onto his head. It hangs from his neck, so we have to pop off the head, put it around his neck, and then put the head back on, and we're good to go. He comes with these open hands, these fists, and these hands for holding this lightning bolt right here, which we take apart, slide it through the hand, and then put it back together just like this. He also comes with these four additional face plates. And I got to say, this last one right here is so fun with the eyes and the tongue popping out like that. And of course, he comes with the awakening head sculpt for the previous Luffy figure. And now we're going to run through changing the face plate on this figure. We're going to pull the hair off. You're going to pull it out, not up. Same thing with the face plate. Pull it out. Then you're going to take the new face plate and push it in. Make sure the holes are lined up. Take as much time as you need. And then again, you get the hair and you slide it back into the head. And you're good to go. Look at that. All you got to do now is take the head and mount it back on your Luffy figure and you're ready to play with it. So there you go, nerds. That's the SH Figure Arts Gear 5 Luffy figure with all their new stretchy bendy technology. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.